Good morning. Uh, this is uh, John from the Peaceful Assembly Church. Good morning, John. Good morning. You're a big uh, supporter of juror rights. I sure am. Tell me uh, about uh, talking to jurors here today. Some people might say you're jury tampering. I am informing the general public of their historical uh, rights as jurors and responsibility. I never target juries of the day. I have been active in the juror info uh, movement since 1990. So you're giving them general information about the duties of a juror, not anything about any particular case. What the information that I'm giving has nothing to do with this case whatsoever. I've not talked to anybody about this case. Well, this is a right that people are trying to hide from jurors. There is nowhere else where anybody interacts with the government where one person is supposed to be this important. Your vote on election day, your vote, uh, you know, whether it's local to, to federal. But none of that is really as important as your one vote as a juror can make a difference, and it's intended to be that way. This is the most important position where anybody can take interacting with the government. Let me explain it this way. Back in when this country was founded, people knew about this, what their role as a juror was. It's to protect their neighbor from the government. That is the role of the juror. Um, we are told now that we have a fair system, and it's the fairest in the world, they tell us, because we are to hold somebody innocent until proven guilty. But I say, what's with the until part? They're getting in people's heads and saying you will convict. It should be unless. That's the traditional role of a juror, is to protect from the government. Now, if there's a victim, we have something to argue about. Sure. Arbitrary laws, man-made laws that make no sense. The jurors knew this, and in the Declaration of Independence and in the Constitution, there is no other issue addressed as often as the jury. That's how, that. If you want to have that as a measuring stick, go and count them and realize all of this stuff about the Constitution, that's a restraint on the government. And every time that the government is ever to punish or fine or hurt anybody, they're always supposed to come back to we, the jurors. The jurors rule. One person can always say no to the government. That's how we can make a difference. We sure can. Great. Thank you for the, doing this, All John. All right. Thanks for stopping by. I need some star footage. <laughs> Derek J. That is the famous pre, Derek J. Pre-exile. Yeah, just days, just days before exile. Not exactly sure if there are different regulations depending on whether you're a federal building and half staff or state building, not. Uh, curious. They're not on the same page. <laughs>